to get all the best local brews on tap with the tasty pub food that's a notch above the rest in a relaxed, friendly environment. And they have one cool dog, too. This morning, Gary's on the go at Mojo's Local Tap and Kitchen. Gary, you're still alive. That dog didn't eat you. Oh boy, I tell you, you're going to see that dog coming up a little later in case you missed it in the 8 o'clock hour. I know you saw it, Richard. All right, this is the, I mean, I love Mojo's, and Mojo's a great uh, mascot. By the way, there's the wall. I wanted to show you that again. Uh, we love places that are dog friendly. I know at least I do. So if you have a little dog, come on down, or a big dog, and hang out at Mojo's, which is just an awesome place to hang out. Really cool environment to, uh, to chill out. Great beers and great food. We showed you the beers earlier. Now we're going to show you some food. We've got Scott, we've got Kristen, uh, and then over here we've got Michael, of course, and we'll show you the dog later. The dogs are kind of little. We're going to hide that one and, uh, and bring it out. We're going to spring it out on you. So let's talk a little bit about uh, you yeah. know, some of the items that you've got uh, you know, on the menu because the food is amazing here too, right? Yeah, we, we were doing really uh, a lot of great things, especially our, our breakfast on Saturdays and Sundays uh, starts at 930. So we have our spicy Byron here, which it's not for the faint of heart. There's some jalapenos, a little uh, habanero aioli. Uh, then we top it off with a, with a fried egg. Yolk kind of runs down, add some fruit. Uh, we have a Mojo burger as well as most places uh, you know are defined by their burgers. This is a, a brioche bun. Uh, all the all the creamy goodness that comes down uh, the, the sides is a, is a cheddar cheese. Uh, we've got the, the onion ring uh, pyramid here for you. Uh -huh. uh, some Thai wings with, with all the accoutrement. And, Knowing you, and, you, you just can't go basic wings, Scott. You gotta you gotta you no, gotta no, dial it up, no, right? We gotta, we gotta mix it up a little, Gary. And then uh, just do your standard buffalo wings, which uh, we take pride in. Uh, all paired well with some great beers and things to drink as well. Things to drink. All right, now I know Christian, uh, yeah, I know your wife absolutely loves this one. This is your favorite, right? Yeah. He just explained it. Why do you love this one so much? This is my love child. I yeah. absolutely yeah. love it. Like, I literally wait for Saturday and Sunday to have the spicy Byron. It's got a little kick to it, as, spice, as uh, Scotty just mentioned. Yeah. The habanero aioli, the crunch of those fresh jalapenos. <laughs> it sounds good, but you know me, I'm not into the so much spice, but the camera guy Larry cannot wait to eat that one. It's a good one. That all right, good. let's talk to Michael real quick. I'm going to go this way. All right, Michael, tell us about some of these beers because it's amazing. Everything's local, and that's what's cool about it, right? Yeah, so on Saturdays and Sundays, we serve mimosas uh, for the brunch crowd. Yeah. We got um, seltzers from local breweries. Uh, we got sours from Bear Bottle Brewery, uh, all different breweries from Sacramento. Obviously, we got Light the Bean from King Kong, Go Kings. Yes. We got nitros, uh, brown ales on uh, tap. And we also have wine on tap and sake on tap, which most people don't know. Oh, this is sake here, huh? Sake on tap. And then if we do sake bombs, you drop that right into Light the Beam, and you got a sake bomb. Wow, I love that one. Put it right into the Light the Beam, which, by the way, Light the Beam, of course, we all, all know about the Kings. And if you look over here, the Kings wall right there behind Kristen, you can see it all there. They've got everything ready to go. This is something you really wanted to put in, right, Scotty? Because, you know, this is, I mean, you're a big king, king, yeah, Kings guy. Yeah, we've been part of the community and I think it's nothing better than having a nice purple wall to put Kings gear on and uh, attract our Kings fans. We've got some stickers that are coming up in a promo that we're doing as well that uh, if you come join us uh, for a beer we give you a sticker then you go to the Kings game um, tag mojos and then we'll come back and give you more discounts on uh, on brews and food. Yeah and that's what these uh, these stickers are all about right there. That's yeah. What, that's what it is. I love that. Bingo right there. All right I and 15th is where you got to come check it out. Now let's bring in Mojo. Is Mojo ready? Mojo, here he Oh boy, oh boy. There's Mojo. Can you see it, buddy? Mojo's all fired up, especially when you scream his name. We've got the food up high. I think it's high enough, but I'm not sure Mojo may run up and grab that spicy Byron himself. I don't know. Mojo, good to see you, buddy. So furry, so fun. All right, come on now, check it out. They've been around seven months. Great place to hang out, enjoy a beer, hang out with friends, and uh, and check out a Kings game. And by the way, soccer on Fox 40 right here. You can check that out tomorrow. They've got it. All right, back to you guys. World Cup games with the great Pyrenees like that. Mojo, what a great looking, huge dog and great food. Gary, thank you so much. 929.